Timelines are the careful planning that is involved in the event over weeks or months. It is important to make sure that every aspect is identified and attended to. Game charts are helpful for creating timelines pre, during and post events. When creating timelines, the event organizer breaks up each task and allocates each task to a person to complete. Game charts can be made in, in Microsoft Excel. To make a game chart, open up the Excel homepage and it looks like this. Once opening Excel, type into the search bar at the top of the page GAN, which is spelled G A N double. It will then come up with this page in which you press create and that will create your Gantt chart. Once the Gantt chart is created, this is what it will look like once opened in Excel. The highlighted section shows the list of activities that will be typed in when you're creating your Gantt chart. This highlighted section shows when the plan is due to start. This highlighted section is the plan duration. This is for how many days, weeks or months a certain section of your timeline may occur. This column highlight is the actual start. You may write down to plan the start for a task for week one of planning, but you may not start until week four of planning. This column highlight is the actual duration. Just like before, you may see the actual duration will be two weeks, but the duration of the task may take longer like four weeks. This is the final column in a Gantt chart. This column is the percentage done. It highlights how much percent of a task that has been completed. This highlighted section at the top of the Gantt chart is the amount of days. Excel has it set for days but you can change it to weeks or months if an event is going for a long time. But the most suitable way would be to have it set for days or maybe weeks depending on how long you're planning your event for. This is an example of a Gantt chart for a year 10 career day. This chart does not have a percentage complete column but it's, it can still be used effectively with the other columns. It won't make any difference. The highlighted section at the top of this Gantt chart shows the icons for the different columns that were shown before. Each column has its own color and pattern. To move each of the little icons around, you simply type the numbers on the highlighted columns that were shown earlier in this tutorial. For example, if you've typed in a 10 for plan duration, the icon will take up 10 spaces on the timeline because that's what has been typed into the actual duration. Once you have played around with all the numbers and icons, your Gantt chart will be finished when you are happy with it. That is how to make an easy timeline for planning or organizing an event.